Welcome back to study section 2 on introduction to plants. Introduction. Plant taxonomy is a branch of botany that is loosely related to systematic. Whenever a new plant is discovered, it must be classified before it can be researched. Plant taxonomy is a scientific process that uses scientific classification to divide plants into taxonomy realms. The ranking system starts with six broad kingdoms that are funneled down to very specific species classification. It, it goes kingdom, two phylum or division, three class, four order, family, genus, and species. But of orders and categories are added all the time. At the end of this study section, you should be able to divide plant taxonomy to discuss the units for classifying plants three discuss the history and development of plant taxonomy and four align the same use in classifying plants what is taxonomy taxonomy deals with the description identification and classification of plants into different groups according to their resemblance and differences. Taxonomy aims at grouping organisms on the basis of mutual similarities into units called taxa. Plant taxonomy is the science of naming organisms and placing them in a hierarchy structure called level being given a name. Units of classification for plants include one species. Species is a group of plants having a very close resemblance with one another structurally and functionally. It is the smallest unit of classification to genus. It is, it is a collection of species which bear a close resemblance to one another in the morphological characters of the flora or reproductive part three, which is the family. Family is a group of many genus, plurally called genera, which show the general structural resemblances to one another, mainly in their flora organs. Four, order. Order consists of the number of similar families. Five, which is class. Class is a group of many orders. Consists a number of similar orders. Six, division of phylum, which is a group of similar classes. And lastly, kingdom. Kingdom is a group of many divisions. It is the highest unit of classifying plants, and all plants belong to the kingdom plants are in. Let us now look into the history and development of plant taxonomy. The early history of development of botanical science is nothing but a history of development of plant taxonomy. The knowledge about plants was passed from generation to generation. The first truck, a pre philosopher scientist, placed plants on a scientific footing. He dealt with plants at large and attempted to arrange the plants in several groups, and he is therefore called father of botany. Pliny compiled a multi monumental work entitled Historical Naturalist, where he incorporated all information about plants gathered up to that time and added much to the same collected by him from his travels far and wide. He compiled his famous book, Materia Medica, where he described about 600 species of plants, mentioning their local name and giving their medicinal properties. For a long period after this, there was no contribution in the study of plants worth mentioning till Abbas Magnus in the 13th century wrote his the vegetabilities where the difference in the stem structure of dicotyledons and monocotyledons were shown and the two groups were given the terms tunicate and corticate. Printed books on plants were available toward the close of the 15th century and a few German herbalists carried their inquiries about plants and still further made the study of botany quite popular. Foremost, the foremost among them was Otto Bruffels who published his book in three volumes which was profusely illustrated with good figures from book between the year 1498 to 1554. Another German herbalist published his book, which contains accurate descriptions of about 600 species of flowering plants. In this book, the author tried to trace the natural relationship of plants while classifying them into three major groups, bees, herbs, shrubs, and trees, and also noted the original distributions of each species. Andres Stephanos, between the year 1519 and 1603, also classify the plants on the character of their habits, which include trees, which include trees, shrubs, and herbs, but also took into account the characters of ovary, fruits, and seeds. He became famous for his books, The Plants, in Volume 6, the first of which contained his principles of classification. Leonard Foote, Valerius Cody, Matthias de Liobel, and John Gerard, as well as Charles Leclus, were others who also advanced the cause of botanical science by their observations and contributions then the part then then, then the bowing brothers came to the field bowing brother came to the field the elder brother Jean John Bowing wrote a book entitled Historia Plantarium 
Universalism, which was published after his death. Jasper Bowen, the younger brother, published three botanical treatises, the third one of which, Finance Triatry Botanic, became very popular. But the Bowens made use of the habit character of plants in classifying them. Jasper Bowen had formulated the idea of a genus and, in many cases, gave binary nomenclature to his plants. He also collected all names of plants published in different botanical works till his time and referred them as synonyms along with names he used as correct ones. John Bray, an English naturalist, set himself seriously to the study of plants and gave much thought in proposing a system of classification of plants. He was the first to recognize two major types of flowering plants, which are dicotyledons and monocotyledons. He also tried to group the plant into several families, which he called classes. He divided the plant kingdom first into two groups, Abbe and Abbe. The Abbe were divided into Imperfecte and Perfecte, the, the first of which included the cryptograms and the second, that is the Abbe's, which included most of the flowering plants. The, the Perfecte was subdivided into Dicotyledone and Monocotyledone. And, on, and under Dicotyledone, Joseph Piton de Tonfort was a contemporary of John Ray and tried to work out a system of classification of flowering plants. He to divide the plant kingdom first into two groups as trees and herbs and, and used the character of inflorescence and flower. Joseph Piton de Tonfort was a contemporary of John Ray and tried to work out a system of classification of flowering plants. He to divide the plant kingdom in, into two groups as trees and herbs and used the character of inflorescence and flower for subdividing the latter group. He was the first to give a clear concept of a genus. Although Gaspard Boeing mentioned it in his work, Tonefort's work, Tonefort's work proved very helpful in identifying the plants up to the species. Carolus Linnaeus, 1707 to 1778, a Swedish naturalist, gave a new impetus to the study of plants. The discovery of numerous plants from all over the world led him to think about bringing an order into the, into the existing chaos and set him in grouping and classifying of plants knowing till, known till his time. He proposed a system of classification which was published in the Systema Naturae in 1735. Owing to the efforts of Linnaeus, the study of botanical science entered the modern age and Linnaeus is rightly called the father of modern now, now let's move on to the system of classification in plant taxonomy, which are one artificial system of classification. In artificial system, only one or at most a few characters are selected arbitrarily, and plants are arranged into groups according to their characters. With these closely related plants are often placed in different groups, while unrelated plants are often placed in the same group because of the presence or absence of a particular character. Two natural system of classification. In natural system, individuals under one particular group are closely related to one another. In natural system of classification, all the important characters are taken into consideration and plants are classified according to their related characters. Phylogenetic system of classification. Phylogenetic system of classification is a system of classification based on the idea of organic evolution, attempting to find out the relation between the different groups, that is, to trace the phylogeny of the group. Thanks for listening. You can read more about this section in the study material.